Welcome, guitar enthusiasts. This is a fantastically rocking song called Zombie by the Cranberries. It was a very big song in the 90s. Um, it's one of my favorite songs to sing and perform. Really, really love this song. It has such a raw energy to it. And I also like it because it uses my four favorite chords, E minor, C, G, and D. Awesome. So this song uses those four chords over and over and over again. That means all you have to know is the order of those four chords, which I just said, E minor, C, G, and D, and you can play this song. That's all it is. The only thing that changes with this song is what we call the dynamics, how loud we're gonna play and how soft we're going to play. So we're going to use an eighth note strumming pattern, all downs, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And if you know how to palm mute, you can also use that on the verses of the song. If you don't know how to palm mute, don't worry. Just strum as lightly as you can. Because on the choruses, on the choruses, we're really gonna open up and get loud. That's the great thing about this song. It's four simple chords, but it uses dynamics to ebb and flow the song. So the intro starts with this really loud eighth note strumming pa um, pattern, and it's E minor, C, G, and D. Those are the four chords, so it's gonna be E minor, one and two and three and four and C and two and three and four. G and D. E minor and C and G and D. And then at the end, we strum whole notes. It really opens it up. Two, three. strumming. Now we're on the verse. C, G, and D. And if you can palm you, it'll sound like this. So that is how you play the entire song, actually, is just those four chords over and over again, E minor, C, G, and D. It just depends on how loud you play. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the beginning of the song, I'm gonna play the intro through the first verse into the chorus, just so that you guys can hear how it sounds and hear those dynamics that I'm gonna use so that you can practice playing with dynamics as well. So let's check that out. One. Two, three, four.
That is the entire song. You just keep repeating that pattern of dynamics. And all you needed was four 